As trillions of cells work together to convert our food into life, they depend on a process called methylation to begin a chain of important events. Our methylation cycle is a very simple process which works a bit like a rechargeable battery. Just like a battery, this cycle provides energy to whichever processes are currently creating demand. But, we do not invest time and energy into recharging batteries that have no use. If our battery-operated devices were broken, which reduces the demand for charged batteries, we wouldn't blame the battery charger for the uncharged battery. We ran into the same situation with methylation. If our other processes are not creating demand, then components of our methylation system might not be functioning on purpose. The first step of the methylation cycle is the MAT1A gene, which simply activates protein with ATP and magnesium. Now that protein is charged, it's called SAM-E, which is responsible for dozens of important processes. As SAM-E is used up, it returns to the methylation cycle as SAH which is pretty much an empty battery at this point. SAH carries out a few more processes, and is eventually converted to homocysteine. Homocysteine has three potential routes it can take. Two of these routes recycle homocysteine back into protein, where it can generate more SAM-E. And the other route sends it to glutathione, which is involved in dozens of important processes. The first path back to protein is through the MTR gene, which depends mainly on B12, as well as activated folate from the MTHFR gene. The other path back to protein depends mainly on choline, betaine, and glycine. As we increase demand on methylation and support it, we can create enough SAMe and homocysteine. But, when our trillions of cells are hungry for dozens of nutrients, this machine cannot function properly.